Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Alpha Droid Custom ROM, which is based on Android 13 and the latest October security patch for our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and Note 8. So, let's take a look at the Alpha Droid. So, guys, this is the Alpha Droid Custom ROM, which is a new custom ROM for our Galaxy S8 uh, based on Android 13. Uh, let's uh, dig into it the about phone, and you can see get this uh, banner Android 13, device name, and all of the stuff and going down android version and you will get here the alpha droid logo android version 13 and it also comes up with the latest october security patch now this is november but the november patch will take more 5 to 10 days so yeah you can stay updated also clicking here you can see uh, it's for the dream lt which is the samsung galaxy sa and this is the vanilla version i have flashed uh, g app separately uh, because i wanted to download the vanilla version uh, like the alpha droid quickly so only in, uh, install the vanilla version you can also get a gapps version so no need to install gapps separately here now guys this rom comes with uh, custom wallpapers of its own as you can see this beautiful wallpaper and i don't know if you guys like this color but i like all these colors and between the logo gives a branding to the phone that this is running the alpha droid rom going into wallpapers and style uh, here you can see uh, change wallpaper and here you have the abstract wallpapers some from this side and we also have the alpha custom branded wallpapers so yeah you can use any of them this is the one I like and this is the one the second one which I like a lot because it has a lot of black and the colors also give a look nice look as you can see this one good uh, uh, nice look also on the edges around as you can see it looks really great like for our galaxy asset with the curved screen it's a nice wallpaper indeed now let's dig into the main part the customizations uh let's go into about phone now the default uh, the settings ui is different i have changed it uh, let's move into alphabet which is the customization tab the first thing is user interface and you get all the stuff uh, regarding the user interface stuff and you can see ambient display and yeah you also have the always on display it's the same doesn't have any changes a lot and we also have some customization we have some ambient text here as you can see you can set ambient text uh, it is set as uh, gtc gtrcd let's see if it comes anywhere here okay yeah as you can see it uh, the gtrcd hashtag is printed you can print anything here like android let's start with the basic and it will show you you can customize the colors as well so yeah ambient text color this is uh, this is blue but i don't think so it has been set to blue this is yellow i don't know why is, uh, it's yellow maybe you can set the custom color okay here you have to set custom color and this will turn out bad because i have chosen a darker color let's set it to a really shitty color which I do not like and yeah as you can see that shady text is here but it's android so it's not shitty let's reset this thing by long pressing oh. wow okay so i think the reset button is not working or there's a different thing to reset so just set it to system accent color let's move towards the additional settings you have ambient okay so these are just uh, always on display and ambient additional settings just the normal settings we get charging animation screen of animation crt monet settings some theming and you can also choose the color source from where you want so if it's set to both then if you have some different colors then it will choose accordingly then we have the brightness bar slider and if i set it to outline let's see what effect does it do uh, this is how it is the outline version let's set something like the minimal thumb okay let's see how it goes i hope the system has refreshed and this is how it goes so these are some uh, ui related customizations i've shown you then we have you can change the notification style also quick settings panel the ui style and let's set it to a vivid thing let's see what happens oh now this has uh, changed the the theming a bit the dark theme uh, sorry the amulet black theme has been applied and looks really nice on our s8 yeah this theme i think i just chose it randomly and this is the best theme i guess 
so far and we have setting cell now the default is the NAD one I have set it to dot because I just want in a separate manner and we also have the navbar style if you use the navbar then fonts yeah we have a lot not like too much but yeah we have a lot then we have the signal icon style Wi-Fi icon style everything everything you can change Wi-Fi uh, or Wi-Fi but sadly our device does not support Wi-Fi and VOLT so it's not of any use then status bar and you get all these customizations I'll just quickly give you a small brief about all of them you can read and decide whether you want to solve this this is the quick settings one also to have, choose the header image which I already set and yeah this is how it looks really nice I'm using all these customizations uh, like in our resurrection remix rom and the bootlegger's rom but now this is the one which I'm using right now on my set so yeah that's what follows so these are the customizations regarding the quick settings panel and the buttons customization uh, we also have the advanced research yes the basic things everything's here and just more additional stuff has been presented so it's really nice lock screen stuff uh, double clock uh, line clock mm. you also have the clock customization so let's uh, set something mm, really this looks cringe to me I'm sorry uh, yeah this is how it looks it is so well crafted you know there are some texts uh, written I'm not going to read that and uh, oh there there is a long list of clock uh, font sizes you can set so yeah you can just cover everything uh, after you install it and we have notification retaker and all this uh, stuff which you had missed in those ROMs which you use with a lot of customizations sound options that have to play back everything everything is here pulse and all miscellaneous uh, unlock high FPS in games I don't know if that works Netflix uh, spoof I don't know if that works too and these are all this stuff you have to check that because I don't use a lot of apps in this phone so I have not check that weather settings and always show time and all and yep that is it for customizations let's see if there is anything extra in the uh, basic settings here and yeah everything uh, this is a desktop mode I think this is like the uh, ready for uh, for my Motorola it's exactly like that you can just choose it and yeah the Samsung DeX I forgot it's just like Samsung DeX so you can just use this is the wallpaper and settings uh, I shown you earlier and fast charging you have battery optimization everything basic stuff is present and uh, digital well-being and then system we have all this stuff USB configuration you can just choose it without even uh, dealing the USB so you can choose the default option right here so these are the customizations in the alpha droid ROM and guys this ROM is based on AOSP and there are no such extra apps present as you can see total AOSP pure Google stuff is present uh, like the apps which I installed except all other uh, AOSP Google apps are present no uh, Google pixel apps are present not that just pure AOSP apps and nothing else so yeah this is also a really nice thing and you have the vanilla version too so micro G people you can just you know enjoy this ROM whatever yes now let's move towards the uh, final stage uh, not going to explain the installation but yeah let's end it with the boot animation and yeah here we go and guys that is it for the video if you really enjoyed this video press the like button if not then the dislike button and yeah here comes the boot animation so you can take a look at that too and also guys if you want to uh, watch more such videos on the Samsung Galaxy S set about customization and Android uh, custom ROMs then yeah you can press the subscribe button and also the bell icon to not miss any updates about my videos and also I'm not consistent in respect to I know I know I'm not consistent at all I have said uh, like a thousand times that I will be making videos but it's because of my studies and the work stuff uh, I don't get that much time but yeah whenever I will get time I be uh, less lazy and be more productive like I will try but yeah that is it uh, for this asset video and I hope my next video will be after two days or like like really less not like a month or two month after so yeah wish me luck about that too and that is it and about the installation you will find everything detailed like the installation is pretty easy like it's 
like it's totally easy not that much uh, you can find everything about that in the description so please check that and also please check all the links everything will be in the description also your feedback please post it in comments down below that will be really appreciated like i am going to learn everything from the comments your feedback about the video also how the quality is so yeah that is it and bye bye say bye bye